And we have a very nice paper towel that we were missing in our garage. What? Paper towel hold. This is a just a towel, not a paper towel. Because it's in the bathroom. Alright, bloopers for you. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Alright friends. Hello friends, welcome to the garage. Today we're going to build this very nice and useful uh, towel holder and self combination for our downstairs bathroom. So stick along and see how we're going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So follow us to see how this was built. So we can put the self there. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there. Mm -hmm. and then another self there. Mm -hmm. So this would be probably 26 inches. And what would look proportionally well? That's 26 inches, at least half of it. Like 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. So what's the towel holder plus what? Shelf. Storage shelf. I want to go and make sure that the assembled thing is going to fit in a 26, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we already have a a paper, I mean a towel holder, which determines the size of this project. And we found out that our original thought of 26 will not be enough. So we bump the width of, to 28 and we bump the height to 14. Now one more dimension we need of course is this, right? What is that? The depth. Oh yeah, the depth. Um... So how deep would we want it? We wanted a multiple of this. I was thinking... Maybe five or six inches. What do you think? Uh, let's see. If it is five inches, it should be looking okay. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to have two selves. And you still want to do what we did with the other one? Mm -hmm. With a little um, stopper kind right. of in front of it. So we're going to have it will be 5 inches deep, 28 wide, and 14 high, right? Yes. So we are going to go and start cutting the material, dry feet, and go from there. Thank you. So it needs to be plugged in. For such a thin blade, there is such a big curve. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Now we can glue this, or if you don't care if there is a visible edge, we can use whatever we use for the horizontals to keep them together. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind having the gap there because that's part of the rustic. Okay. So now we need. Ready? Yeah. Okay. This 
So we'll cut this one and use it as a template. So we're using hot glue, you kind of have to do it fast because otherwise it will not happen. And align it. We're using hot glue to keep the two boards together. In this stage you need to make sure that your boards are perfectly aligned. Okay, are they? Yeah. Alright, and now we're going to take it to the band saw and cut the curve we want. Want to try to take them apart? Want to use the uh, sanding? Now, if this was to be a finished product that you will stain, you will want to actually use some um, sanding but you do it then as you can see the hot glue does a fantastic job and then it doesn't really leave anything this little glob you can actually take off and if you paint or stain the material there will be nothing left if you want to come close here you will see that there is nothing left there so that's how you can use hot glue that's not from the hot glue. Yeah, it is. Came off the other side. Okay. Maybe we use a little too much hot glue. But I don't know. Well, you didn't tell me how much. You just said put some. Right. Anyway, it came off clean. There's nothing there. Yeah, it doesn't really leave anything. Okay. I need to. Make sure that they are facing the same way since your boards move. The curve. There. And again, you can join the board. Let's try that again. You can join the board. We chose not to join the board because for us that is not an important consideration. We wanted to have a rustic kind of look.
So when you measure the inside, you butt this part of the uh, measuring tape on one side, and then you read the inside of the other side, and that in our case is 26 and it's not 5 eighths, is it? It's just under 5 eighths. Mm, yeah, just under. This is a very technical term, just a hair under 5 eighths. Again, cutting it a little proud and then slowly edging it where you want is the best approach because if you cut it too short, there is nothing you can do about it. But if you cut it too long, you can always fix it. So we did rip two boards to length to make, uh, I'm sorry, we ripped two boards to width to make the two cells and now on the miter saw we're going to cut them to the correct length. Is it square? Yes. Not now. Or do you want to leave it looking great? We're going to fix it because we're going to have the other things over it. Okay. You missed. Why does it want the switch to turn? measure how far down we want that though. If we use the square it will be fine. Well I know but I want it to be at the same. What? Tell me what you need. You want to do it as big as this? Just touch it there? Uh, yeah, I think that's good, don't you? I don't know anything. So we're basically using the square as our measure from the bottom shelf to the top. You need to go a little bit towards, we're not square, there. Sort of. No, I do, but it is very. Don't take it out and update it? Yeah, because it's. Okay, I think. Good. Okay. Now let's move on. Do we need to flip the shelf around? We 
didn't put really glue here, but... It's alright, you're using screws and I think the screws will hold it sufficiently. Is, is it that even? is it even though? Like, is it level? If it is square, it's even. See? Are you recording? Or are you... I am recording. Okay, get your fingers, please. Before we do another one, can we please get a level and just check it, please? I don't know what you want. It is the same distance. Okay. What do you want to level? Okay. I mean, the key would be to level this one and put it on the wall. Okay. Uh, help me get on the... I usually... I don't know why I always miss it. No, you need to go to the right. A little to the right. There? A little bit more to the right. I'm going to hit to miss it in that direction. Okay. Nope. You're right on center. I need to bring it in. That's as good as it's getting. It's all right. Okay. All right. Tell me what concerns you so. I just want to make sure the shelves look level when we hang it on the wall. That's all. They won't. That's our signature. <laughs> so I'll just have cricket shelves. I refer you to exhibit A. Hey, that's the Dr. Seuss shelf. <laughs> and they were level. Look, you can go to any store and buy level shelves. Mm. To the right. There you go. that Dr. Seuss shelf is that it was level based on the floor that we had it on but not realizing that the floor was actually not level was our problem. All right, what is you recording or no? I'm recording right now. All right. So we're going to use brads to collect this and It was empty last time I used it. Did you put any in it since then? Okay. That's what I'm doing now. Okay. Just checking. For those of you that you follow the channel, you know that we have used this... Uh, what do we call them? Lathing strips. These lathing strips in many, many projects so far. And they provide a nice accent and a nice finish. You're gonna need three more. I know. Okay. Which one do you like better? No, that's got a bow in it. See if this is straighter. That's better. So basically we're lining it up with each edge and then using the pencil to mark it and then he's using the miter saw to cut it. And then the... Uh... The staple gun to attach it. No, flip it. What do you mean? Flip it over. Why? Because it has a bow that way. Um, we need to use this to space it. Okay. I was thinking we look better with a little more space than that little. Yeah. I think we look better like there. Well, we need something that's going to be a consistent spacer then. We do. How about that? You like that space? Yeah, that looks good. All right. Can so basically, we're on? using a scrap of the board. Well, this one isn't attached either. Right. So. I only have two hands and one of That's them's okay. busy. One of them's busy. Why you only have two hands? That's I know, there should be like eight. 
that is a problem. It is. Only two hands. You didn't tell me that before we started. I know, right? What are you doing? Moving it out of the way. You're breaking my tools. Right, because that's what I do. Is it flush then? Yes, it's flush. Because if we're not flush, we're nothing. Right. That's what we. That's what we do. We flush, right? Mm-hmm. So theoretically, if we do that on the other side, mm -hmm. flash, it will be fine, right? Yeah. And I use the word theoretically incorrectly, but that's okay. We need one more, right? Then, yes. Yeah, we need one more. <laughs> Since you're the science guy, you need to be correct. And it needs to be hypothetical, not theoretical. Since I'm a professor, I have to be correct. Of statistics, no less, right? Right. Ready? And this is our last one. What did I hit? Um, I think you hit the garage door. Don't hit things, people. It's not a good thing. I'm just saying, you got a little bit of a mess here, and this is really not conducive to a good workspace. A messy so. Not so conducive to a good workspace. It's, it's not like it's not like a desk in your office. My desk actually is much cleaner than my store. Which is disturbing. Don't be disturbed. I'm very disturbed. Healthy. I'm very disturbed. So we have, where is our spacer? Spacer. And do you care which one is which? Mm, flip it, let me see. No. Spacer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you move it? Actually, you're the one that moved it, okay. And now we have to turn it around. Clearly, by we, I meant me. Well, we is busy filming. <laughs> we. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first one. Do you want the thing or you can hold it? I can, I can hold that thing. Did I take all the camera with the tool? No. Alright, and then that's our Do you spacing. know which one it is? Are you sure? This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's looking. Okay. Did another one. So this one. Down one with this plus. Are we good there? Yep. And I'm not obstructing you with the. Uh, I'm good. I'm a really good camera person. Yes. Okay. Now the viewers might not think so. We'll ask them to comment. Because <laughs> there's probably going to be a whole lot of wide stuff, but. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Wild stuff? Wild, I mean. Oh. Like, because I've been, I've been shooting with my left hand, and I'm not a left-handed person. Excuse me, excuse me. Did we give the... Okay, so this is a, uh, towel bar that we had purchased for the bathroom. We're just going to integrate it into the design for this, so that we have shelf and a towel bar. And as you can see, we have it placed there, so you'll see what it looks like. And this towel bar comes with a template in the directions that shows you how to place it and where to place your brackets, mounting brackets, along with the screws. And so we've measured it, made sure that it's on center in our project, and taped it in so it doesn't move, and now we're getting ready to install the bracket. So here I simply mark where the position is. And you try to be as centered on the, these points as you can. I mean, there is a little wiggle room, so you don't have to be perfect. Like I'm not there perfect. I'm not there perfect, I don't know what that was. Okay. 
So now if we take it off, we should have four, four nice screw holes. Now these are longer than this. So we need to use so the shorter ones. are one. these. I don't think I have shorter ones. Yeah. We just can cut them on the back. Okay. You prefer the black or the... Okay. So here's the shelf, uh, finished with the towel bar installed and in place. And it'll have two shelves, which will be very cool. Uh, the only thing we need to do is stain it to match the rest of the, the accents in the bathroom. Okay. And here's what the installation hardware looks like. And then that matches up with these grooves on the back, and then it just slides down and clicks into place. Okay. Oh! Okay, friends. We are finished with our project. It is unfinished now. We are going to stain it to better match our decor. And as you can see, we have two very sturdy shelves to put various things, like uh, toiletries or whatever else you think. Alright, friends. We are done with our build. And we have two very nice and sturdy shelves to put toiletries or knickknacks and a, a, a towel holder in the bottom, which is something we're missing in, in uh, our downstairs ba bathroom. So this is a nice uh, build that you can do easily in an afternoon, wouldn't you say? So if you like this build and everything we show you in this channel, please hit the like button, subscribe and comment. Not only for that, but as you know, there's going to be a giveaway if you subscribe, like, and comment during the month of May. Actually, let me take that back. If you're a subscriber, all you have to do is like and comment in any video during the, last, the month of May. If you're not a subscriber, you need to subscribe in order to be eligible for the giveaway. I hope you liked this episode of The Grass Good Worker, and I will see you Wednesday with probably a finished project in on location where we actually placed it until then have a great week